So you're in Thailand and you decided to rent a scooter to get around. Whenever you go and pick up your scooter rental, you're gonna want to take a picture or take a video of the entire scooter. You're also gonna wanna know if your insurance covers the scooter. All right, what to do now that you've been in a fender bender. It's gonna depend on the situation, of course, but I would say just like what you would do in your country of origin is to exchange information with the other driver. Make sure that there is a way that you can contact the driver in case you need to get in touch with him or her after you leave the scene of the accident. Two, uh, to make it easy, you could probably just pay the driver right there depending on what the damage was. In certain instances, if the accident was not your fault, then you could charge the driver who hit you and caused the damage to your bike. I'm not sure if all rental contracts in Thailand are like this, but my rental contract stated that whether I was at fault or the driver that caused the accident was at fault, I was still ultimately responsible for all damages that occurred. I also, I also saw an accident occur in Phuket and the same scenario played out there. Both parties stayed at the scene. They took care of all damages there at the scene. And then when they parted ways, everything was finished and they had no other contact with one another. So I believe that most accidents in Thailand occur like that and are handled at the scene. Uh, I have video after this kind of showing, talking about a little bit more in depth and, and showing the interaction at the rental place. If you wanted to continue to watch that, you could, but that's, this summarizes pretty much the entirety of what would happen if you got into a bike accident in Thailand. Always remember, just stay calm, stay cool. It's not the end of the world. Everything's gonna work out. Enjoy your time in Thailand because, I mean, everything is so gorgeous here. I love Thailand and you're gonna love Thailand too, even if you get a little fender bender. People are so nice here and they make so little money. Just enjoy Thailand and everything that it has to offer. It's so many beautiful things in this country. And you can watch the rest of the video if you wanna see more little outtakes and everything from my interaction at the rental place. When you know, I got in an accident <laughs> on the way here. It's not really funny. Uh, neither one of us was hurt. I got like a little scratch on my arm, but um, I was, this bus stopped in front of me rather quickly, and to avoid hitting it, I had to curve to the right a little bit, but I ended up, um, you know, kind of getting in his path because the motorcycles, you know, cut in between lanes of traffic, and so he hit my bike and um, caused some scuff damage to his front bumper, so I had to, I had to pay for it. I felt like I was in the wrong anyway. Uh, I also damaged my bike, it looks like, so I'll have to pay for that once I bring the bike back to the shop that I rented it from. We looked it up online and he said that the piece will cost about 1,400 baht. So he just asked for uh, 1,000 baht and I gave him 1,100, super nice guy. We use Google Translate to translate the whole thing. Um, so Google Translate's your friend over here because I use the English side and then he of course used the Thai side. Anyway, kind of expected that it was gonna happen. You know, driving on a scooter over here is super dangerous. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is scary every time that I do it uh, I'd be lying if I said that you know my heart wasn't racing um, it's stressful so but you do the best you can and bad things in life are gonna happen so it's okay I'm still here I'm still alive didn't get badly injured or anything so here's what the damage looks like it's not super bad looks like there's a little crack there and then down here possibly I'm not sure but there might be a little damage right there um, and that looks to be about it. And then this right here is a little switch that you push down, but I it got caught on part of my bag. So I pulled it. Yeah, this right here, it's supposed to fit in right there, but it snapped off. And so I brought it in to the place that I rented it from, born a uh, motorbike and you know just want to be upfront with them about like what's going on seems like the right thing to do stuff like this is going to happen you know things are going to pop up things are going to go wrong don't let it don't let it stress you out don't don't let it get to you i mean it, it'll cost me a little bit of money which is unfortunate but other than that just got to take care of it he's looking at an electric catalog right now he's going to tell me how much they cost 
So we got it taken care of, 2,231 bot. So, you know, 70 bucks, somewhere up in there. Yeah, it was expensive, but I feel better about myself knowing that I take, took care of it. I paid them, I was being honest about it. Now I have to go get some more money. Burning through some cash here in Thailand, but that's okay. It's just part of travel. So unexpected stuff's gonna pop up and you just gotta be able to swing, swing with it, roll with the punches, you know, as we say.